This video will cover an introduction to the sixth edition of APA Citation Style. We will focus on the reference list. The reference list is found at the end of your paper. The references listed on this page provide detailed information for each source used in your paper. While your in-text citations contain the author, date, and maybe a page number, the citations in your reference list contain much more information. Anyone reading your paper should be able to easily identify the resources you consulted by looking at the citations in your reference list. Each source that is cited as an in-text citation must appear in your reference list, and each source cited in your reference list must appear as an in-text citation in your paper. We'll cover some common types of sources you may need to cite in your papers, including journal articles, newspaper and magazine articles, and websites. First, let's identify where you will find the information needed for your citations. You'll need the title of the article and the author. Other information you need is typically found at the top or at the bottom of the article. You'll see the journal title. This is the name of the journal where the article is published. You'll see the year of publication and the volume and issue numbers. These show exactly when the article was published. The volume always comes before the issue number, and sometimes there is no issue number. You'll also need to include the page numbers and the DOI if your article has one. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier, and it's a unique identifier specific to each article. These details are needed in your reference list citations so the reader of your paper can locate the exact resource you used. Journal article citations follow this format. Author last name, comma, first initial. If there are multiple authors, also include their names in the same format. After the author is the year of publication in parentheses, period. Then comes the title of the article in sentence case, the title of the journal italicized in title case, comma, the volume number still in italics, then, in parentheses and non-italics, is the issue number, comma, page range, and the DOI. If your article has no DOI, include the words retrieved from and the URL of the journal homepage. This should not be a long link that you get from a database. Instead, search a web browser for the journal and look for a short link for the journal homepage. Magazine and newspaper articles follow a similar format. They won't have a DOI listed, so you may include the words retrieved from and a link to the homepage of the magazine or the newspaper. Like journal articles, citation information for magazine and newspaper articles might be found at the top or at the bottom of the page. When citing a web page, you're going to look for an author and a date for the specific web page you are referencing. This follows the same format we have been using. Then include the title of the web page, period, the words retrieved from, and the URL. If the web page does not have a specific author, begin the citation with the title instead. And if the web page has no date, use n period d period for no date. Remember that the first item in your reference list citations must correspond to your in text citations. When formatting your reference list, the word references should be at the top of the page in Times New Roman 12 point font. Your references should be alphabetized by the first entry in each citation, and all lines after the first line in each entry should be indented. This is called a hanging indent. You need to select a special formatting option to get a hanging indent because the regular tab spacing does not work for this. To do this in Microsoft Word, select the lines that you want to indent, then go to line and paragraph spacing, go to line spacing options, then under indentation special, select hanging. In Google Docs, again, select the lines you want to indent then go to Format, Align and Indent, Indentation Options, and under Special Indent, select Hanging. 
there should be no additional spaces between each citation. The examples used in this video are from Purdue OWL, the Purdue University Online Writing Lab. This website is a useful tool to refer to when creating APA citations. You might like to consult this resource for examples of citing other types of sources as well. Remember that librarians are available to assist you during all open hours. Please don't hesitate to contact us.